I'm Julian Glander. I make 3D animations, illustrations, comics, and video games. Welcome to my office. For this episode of Make It Happen with Adobe Stock, our challenge is... Hey, where'd I put that creative brief? Oh, there it is. Our challenge is to create a fictional video game with original characters and place them in an original environment. And of course, we're gonna be using Adobe Stock assets to bring the whole thing to life. Let's get started with a super quick concept sketch in Photoshop just to give us a sense of what assets we want. Lately, I've been really into these relaxing life simulation games, many of which take place on farms. So my idea here is a game called Hungry Herple Herder. You play as a farmer who is tasked with feeding these hungry little creatures called herples. That's a fine sketch. So let's hop over to Adobe Stock and see if they have the assets I need. Right away, just from typing in farm, I'm getting a lot of great stuff that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna add these assets to my Creative Cloud library, and what's cool about that is all the assets will be waiting for me in whatever Adobe program I'm using. I've already got a lot of great stuff. I'm just looking for some extra plants and shrubs and clouds to help fill out the scene, and I stumbled upon this series of stylized clouds. Hey, that gives me an idea. I think these bubbly cloud shapes would actually be a great starting point to make the creatures in my game. Okay, now we're gonna get to my favorite part, which is putting together the scene. For all this 3D work, I'm gonna be using the Adobe Substance Suite, which is their new set of integrated tools that lets you do everything from creating and capturing materials to texturing models and tons more. Today, I'm using Substance Stager, which as the name suggests, is perfect for staging models and rendering 3D scenes. All the assets are already waiting for me in the library, so this was a breeze. Here's a feature I really like in Substance. It's always a hassle to keep track of a bunch of 3D objects, so if an object is kind of floating, I hit that send to floor button and it puts it right down on the ground. One way that I'm gonna really make these Adobe stock assets pop is by making some unexpected color choices. And Adobe Color is gonna help me with that. When you think of a farm, you probably think of earth tones, greens, browns, but we're gonna create a bit more of an otherworldly feel with pinks and purples and golds. Before we save this color palette to our library, let's use the accessibility feature and it is colorblind safe. And that's always a great thing to check. And of course the color palette is now just waiting for us there in Substance Stager. For these purple characters, I'm thinking I wanna do something really special. So I'm gonna go back to Adobe Stock and look through the 3D materials. I love this bubbly polystyrene texture. So I'm gonna add that to my Creative Cloud library and see how it looks. We can go ahead and play around with the color and all the other variables. We'll turn the specularity all the way up and get it really shiny. Now that things are sort of in order, I'm gonna turn on ray tracing to preview the lighting for the final render. I'm using one of Stager's lighting presets, which saves a bunch of time. As a final touch, I'm gonna to use the depth of field feature, which slightly blurs out the background to make it feel more like a little miniature diorama scene. For rendering, Substance is super streamlined. It's basically one click. I like to use the denoise feature, which uses AI to clean up the image and help it render faster. While that's in the oven, uh, I'm gonna pop back over to Adobe Stock and find some digital looking fonts. And I'm also looking for a kind of crazy psychedelic font for the title. These are so easy to add to your library. I just hit the toggle switch and then pop back into Illustrator and it's waiting for me. Now I'm gonna combine all these assets in Photoshop, including the substance render. And I just wanna add a little bit of glow, a little bit of noise, and a couple adjustment layers that'll give it that sort of retro box art look. Just making these final tweaks, let's get a little drum roll going. And here's our final image. As you can see, our Adobe stock assets are all working very harmoniously together to create this fantastical video game scene. I actually really wanna play this game now. So just to recap, we created a concept in Photoshop, found all the 3D assets we needed on Adobe Stock, and put the whole scene together using Substance Stager, Photoshop, and Illustrator. Okay, that's all I got for you. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Adobe Stock's Make It Happen series. I hope you learned something and maybe even had a little fun. I know I sure did. Hey, wait a minute. How'd you guys get in here? If you wanna see more of the Make It Happen series, head on over to the Adobe Creative Cloud YouTube channel.